what's good everybody welcome back to another video and uh today we're going to be doing a little uh, something a little different and i think this is really cool what we're going to be doing and if you guessed from the title we were going to actually learn how to print our own minecraft project now i think that's really cool uh as a builder that is like the coolest thing ever uh when i found out how to do this it was amazing i just had to try it out for myself so if you guys like this tutorial, uh, then be sure to subscribe, like, uh, and comment how this did. Uh, maybe even show me some projects uh, if you end up 3D printing yourself. So uh, without further ado, let's begin this tutorial. So uh, a few things that you'll need in the beginning. Uh, you'll need two things actually. One of them is this program here, uh, Mineways. Now uh, this is like sort of like sort of a, like a like a universal rendering tool you don't have to use it is used for like 3d printing uh and 3d models but you also use rendering too uh you also need uh other things too like uh but i'll tell you about that later like sort of minecraft mods but uh my ways is the only thing that you'll need uh and you also need a shape ways count uh, i'll leave all this in the description all the links and everything all the details in this video but you will need a Shapeways account. Now this is a really cool website where you can just uh, print anything. Uh, through, like 3D print everything. Really cool website. You can already see like some examples here. Uh, and you can use any material as well. So uh, it is a, you can make an account for free. Uh, really cool website. I'll leave this in the, the description as well. And you can see you can make models and products. You can sell your own products. Really cool. But uh, besides that, you'll need that and um, uh, mine ways, of course. So uh, you can also go to the website and download it. I'll leave the download and everything as well in the description. Uh, over here, we just have some uh, like uh, directions and stuff, some tips. You can see over here, uh, they got a gallery. Uh, you can also check out uh, some of the 3D products here that they've made. And you already see that, like, you know, some things are just uh, pretty awesome in this. Here's falling water, that's pretty amazing. Uh, but you can check that out for yourself. And you can see here that uh, it's not just used for, like, making 3D products, it's also for, uh, you know, it's different kind of renders. But if you want to download it, here's the download. Just download that. Uh, it's pretty easy. And then you'll get this zip. Just put it on your desktop. I already downloaded it, so over here and then you're going to want to click it first uh and then uh you are just click this file now this is uh completely virus free i've checked it out already it's pretty good it gives you direct download nothing like uh you know like ad or like this the ad websites that they direct you to nothing like that so you're gonna get a bunch of this stuff uh, a lot of this doesn't really matter it's just kind of like extras uh that uh you use like blender scripts and stuff it's, it's usually for the other uh programs that are being used with this program like I have blender up here that's a nice 3d uh, render tool if you want to use it but we we're going to use mineways mineways is actually down here I just dragged it uh, somewhere in the desktop right here so once you have your file uh, you're going to want to have mineways over here now what you want to do next is you're going to open up minecraft and now if, uh, before we start doing all like the, the modeling and everything you're going to want to get your world on single player. Now, if you don't have, uh, if, you, if your world is, say, on, like, multiplayer, then you could use, uh, World Downloader, which is kind of, like, an extra mod, but, like, if you already have single, if you already have, like, a world in single player, then this doesn't really matter. Uh, you could get World Downloader, uh, it does need, like, another mod loader other than Forge, but, uh, if you want to know more about that, I'll leave some more directions in the description, but... Once, by now you should already have your single player world. I have my single player worlds over here. We were actually going to be using this world right here. I had to use world downloader to get this world. Uh, and as you see, I'm going to log on. I was doing some tweaking. Uh, but this is what I will be printing out. And uh, as you can see, uh, the world is kind of like... I uh, got kind of got rid of like the land over here. And you're going to find out why later. But this is what I will be printing, this really cool model that I built. Uh, this, I was actually supposed to do a time lapse on this, but uh, that didn't happen. Uh, the files just got screwed up and stuff, so that, that didn't happen. Uh, but this is what I have. It's just a little like broke tower with uh, my name on it, my YouTube tag. 
this is a little lovely model that I will be printing out. So now, if you have that, then you're going to want to go to Mine Ways, click that open. Now you're going to come up with this, just max height, lower depth. Those are little tools. Now I will be opening my world. So you want to go to File, Open World, and then it'll come up with everything here. I will be choosing Broke. Now what I will be doing is, uh, usually there's like some sort of pop-up that shows like, here I'll just show you, that pop-up right there, uh, this is basically just telling you that not everything is going to be highlighted, because you can see the lower depth is at 62, so I'm just going to press yes, and it'll, it'll actually auto-fix it for you, so this is going to be it, now, this is why I got rid of the error, because if uh, you don't get rid of the error, then it will be highlighting the grass if it's at zero. Like, uh, I think grass stops at four, so if you have to do stop at four, two, three, whoops. yeah, right there, then it will not highlight the grass, but I just got rid of it just uh, if I wanted to highlight anything extra. So, highlight everything. Uh, max height should be uh, 255. I'm like, you don't really need it that high, but like, if you see, like, the lower you go, the, the more the build will get chopped off. So now that you highlight your build, you want to right click highlight it, and it'll be purple. Now, keep in mind, this will be 3D printed, so do not make, like, do not, like, print something that will be flimsy, because this is going to cause a ton of problems later. This build had some minor problems, but it was able to get by, but don't make some sort of, like, noodle build, something that will not support itself when it be printed. This is a pretty sturdy build, I tried reinforcing it as much as I can, but this is basically the build, uh, so once you have your build highlighted, it's nice and sturdy and everything, you're going to want to go to File, and then Export for 3D Printing. Now, uh, there was stuff in here, but I kind of got rid of that now, uh, it's in my, I actually made a new folder called 3D Models, uh, it's like kind of near my documents, so, but, uh, yeah, I, it's called 3D Models, uh, now you want to save it. There are different things that you want uh, that you can save it to, like wavefront is used for rendering, and uh, I think yeah these are this is used for like another program. You don't want to, want to save it to shapeways right here. Give it a file name, so I will call it Baroque. That's what the name of the world is, uh, and then I'll save it. Now this will be popping up right here. Now a lot of this doesn't matter, but one thing that I will warm. And I did not know this before, but I kind of like found out later. Uh, if you Etsy save this build, I'm going to save it right now, and I'm going to show you what's happening. Just leave everything be, and then I'll show you what's happening. Watch this. So right here it says the approximate cost is ninety-eight dollars. Now say you don't have ninety-eight dollars. I know that like I would not want to pay a lot of money for uh, you know just a plastic version, even though that it is pretty cool. So I don't want that. So what we're going to do is go back to file, export for rendering. Oh, that's the wrong thing actually. Export to 3D printing. I already have it there. I'm just gonna. There we go. Uh, now uh, a lot of these doesn't doesn't really matter. Uh, you could tweak it if you know what you're doing. Uh, what does matter is that's in the 3D printing related options right here. Now this is just a bunch of scaling. Down here, you go, if you want if you have like a certain budget then you want to aim for a cost $25 uh you could change that actually and I'm going to make mine actually $65 so now this will actually like redo everything to make it uh, affordable because the material being used to print this and I'll tell you guys later I'm like you could print this at a solid gold on shapeways and that's pretty I'm, uh, that's pretty uh that's expensive but I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna make a minecraft build and then print it at solid gold I'm like, if you do that, that's pretty cool. Tell me in the comments. But we will be using something called color sandstone right here. And this will be, uh, and you'll see that when we uh, put it in the modeling for shapeways. But uh, this will be the material colored sandstone. This will be giving us all the textures. So you're going to want to save that and press OK. And then this warning will come up. And it will come up later when we model it too. It says some of my walls are just a little flimsy. Now, as possible so you know sometimes if your build is too flimsy shapeways will actually reject the build so you want to make sure it's like a pretty sturdy build but I have confidence that this build will do all right so press ok now what you're going to want to do whoops that is Skype uh, 
you're going to want to go to Shapeways. You're going to want, once you have uh, your account and everything, press upload and then select your file. And this is my schematic file. I don't know why I open up to that. 3D models. Now you have this uh, file and you have the texture that comes with it, which will give all textures. Now you're going to want to click the zip because the zip includes both of these files. So click, click the zip and then open that up. And then you're going to want the units to be in millimeters. Uh, of course, just press upload. And then this shouldn't take too long, hopefully. There we go. Now, uh, this is kind of like the loading area. This is kind of like the final area once you have everything good. Uh, so, this is the, uh, the name, uh, Broke World. I don't know. And then it's going to come up with uh, a 3D version of this. Uh, this is what the model looked like. Pretty lovely model, really nice. Now, keep in mind, if you're gonna build something, and if you're gonna print something, keep in mind that, like, some entities in Minecraft will not print correctly. Especially if you're going for the affordability kind of range. Like, as you can see here, uh, I'm just gonna load up this world and show you. This is a very, uh, precise build, uh, a lot of very small details. That's how I work, that's how I build. Uh, look, just look at these fences, and then if you look at the model, fences aren't there, stairs aren't there. Uh, now, I haven't actually ordered something yet, so I'm not sure if this is just kind of like a reference render and it'll end up being more precise later. But even like the Goose Clan statue on the top is kind of warped. Yeah, it's kind of a little, it's not stairs, everything, all the stairs basically turn into blocks. I'm like, I guess this is pretty cool, but like, it's not as precise as, say this. Now, if you go on Mineways uh, documentary, uh, there is Etsy something uh, documentation here. Just go down. Hold on. Should be a table somewhere coming up. Uh, but basically, it shows you what blocks will be printed correctly and what blocks. Here we go. Uh, I'll also leave this, uh, well, you can find it yourself on their website, but here's a few like references, uh, but you can see what is actually flattened, what's not flattened, uh, like cobblestone walls, four wood block, you know, it's, it's like proper geometry, uh, it's, uh, it tells you whether it's flattened or not, like of course flowers will be flattened, some things will be flattened, uh, just keep that in mind, so like if you're gonna make like a world of flowers, and you know every flat flower is gonna be flattened, but I have the scale, I have everything here, now the prices are all set out. Now these are all the different materials that you could build it out of. Uh, let's see, we have like frosted ultra detail, we got metallic plastic. And these are pretty pricey. Let's take a look at gold actually. Uh, matte gold steel, $600. That's a lot of money. Oh, it says I can't, uh, it says I can't choose 18k gold plated. So, looks like I'm not going to be making this out of uh, solid gold after all. But you know, some things are actually really, really expensive, uh, but we are not going to be, uh, of course we're not going to be able to spend, I'm not going to be spending that much money, uh, I set my price out range to be about $65, so here's the sandstone, so, we want to scroll down to sandstone, right here, now it does say view issues, I'm not going to view the issues, because the, the issues are basically, you can view the issues yourself, but I know the issues are, and the issues are basically just, uh, thin walls, uh, now, they do warn that, like, it might get warped during production, uh, but I'm not gonna be throwing this thing around, it's not gonna, be, I'm not gonna be using this thing, it's only gonna sit on my shelf, so, if it does, it, if it is delicate, then it's delicate, it's just a small model, it's probably gonna be like a paperweight, at most, so, I'm, it doesn't really mind, like, that, that one is kind of, like, people who, like, make, like, spoons or something, I don't know, but, uh, we got coated full color sandstone, sandstone, and full color sandstone, I am going to, Choose uh, full color sandstone right here. Uh, now, before I order this, uh, just keep in mind that uh, when you order it, you have to make sure everything's good because I think there are no refunds. Uh, not sure. Once you place an order, the order is placed. You can't really cancel it. But I'm not sure. Just make sure everything's all good. Also, take a look at the size. Like, this is going to be 13 centimeters, which I think is approximately around. Uh, five to eight or so inches. I'm not even sure. Uh, excuse me for my uh, you know conversions. 
Uh, but, you know, that, that's the size. It's about probably the size. It's going to fit in my hand, maybe. Uh, that's 13 centimeters. Uh, but, just look at the scale and everything. And everything is good. We are going to add it to our cart. Full color sandstone. Add it to cart. And then, I will uh, check out. Gonna, uh, now, I will buy this, uh, you know, to show you guys. Uh, so, I'm just going to fill in the payment info, and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, uh, I did make the order, uh, order, everything's all good, order was placed, uh, now it will take time to process and then make, so, you know, that, that's gonna take some time, and then estimate ship, the estimated ship date is, uh, April 4th, and then I don't know when it's gonna actually arrive to me, so, it's probably gonna take some handling and processing, uh, so hopefully that'll come fast, but, until then, uh, right now it's March 27th, uh, so I'll probably uh, finish this video off when I had to get it. So I'll see you guys in two weeks. Uh, but everything's here. I'll probably beat this out though. Uh, the world is here. Uh, full color sandstone. It's in process. Price over here. So see you guys in two weeks. What's good everybody, uh, it's been about a week now, it is currently Monday, and the package came, uh, it's right at seats over here, this is my layout by the way, got my computer, uh, here's my computer over there, now, the package came, uh, it's a pretty good package, a few teared spots, uh, I'm on my phone right now, so, sorry about, like, the bad audio quality, plus stuff running in the background, my bad, I try to make it as quiet as, as possible, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to unbox this thing and see what's inside. So, let's check it out. Alright guys, so I went ahead and I opened up the box so you guys don't have to hear the annoying uh, opening sounds and stuff. So here's the opening. Uh, lighting's a bit bad in here. I only have one hand, but it is time to take a look on. And I see it already. Uh, here's some stuff that has some personal information on there. Uh, packaging and it looks like there is another box in here that we have to open up well that's everything in there so now it's time to open up the next box all right guys so basically I just changed the screen in the background to show you what is going what is uh, in Minecraft and we are going to take a look at what's in here, I've never seen it before. It's a little picture of the thing right there. And it is broken a little bit, but here it is. It's a mini version of my build right there. That's pretty cool. Uh, it was a little broken, but that's just the base part. As you can see, the base part's right here. Uh, that's not actually that bad of a part, but as you see, the whole build is here. All right, hold on, dudes. Uh, managed to find the other pieces. Uh, well, there it is. I mean, like, here's my Minecraft uh, YouTube tag right there. I am a bit disappointed that that part got broken off, but, like, you know, I should have actually double thick this. I mean, like... So it was only like one, uh, if you can see right there, it was only like one block thick. I should have really double thick that, uh, I really do regret that. But I mean like, the structure's there. At least that's there. Pretty happy about that. Pretty lit. Uh, that's basically it. So then again, like, again guys, if you like this video, uh, please like, subscribe, comment how this went. Uh, and go ahead, you know, check this out for yourselves. And, you know, if you did print out your project, then, you know, be sure to share it with me, you know, Twitter, uh, PMC, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys later.